Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII on the Series JG. If you listen very closely to this music, there's some kind of like imperceptible speech in the background during parts. It's really kind of weirding me out. <laughs> it's like the voices in my head are louder today. Luckily for you, I'll be babbling incoherently about nothing in particular, and you won't be able to hear it. Don't know how to sneak up on these guys. I can't tell what way they're facing. Didn't seem to like that. Stay sharp. How about keeping me alive, kid? Game ends if I die. Don't worry about yourself. Just stay out of my way. Flash and burn kind of a cute name for the commando rabbit or paradigm, but uh most of them have names that kind of make sense. Not all of them. And we get the Septisol or some crap. No, paraffin oil. Huzzah. Huh? Oh, come on. I snuck up on its butt. Does it see out of its butt? Does it got a butt face? Is it a butt face monkey? Take this out first because it's probably the easiest to kill. Just stay out of my way. I'm talking to you, Hope. See the boss the boss fights can be interesting in this game because of the different paradigms and but like fighting regular enemies really is just like auto attack, auto attack, auto attack. Unless you want to take over the role of the medic, which is kind of the most boring role to have. You're, you know, more paraffin oil. And weird noises like I don't know what that was. You'll notice I'm not stopping to examine all the neat scenery because... Oh, damn it. Didn't manage to sneak up on them. These guys are... M these guys you really need to stagger before you defeat them. I guess I'll do the technique thing on them since we've got all five tech points. Delivers devastating physical attacks. Yeah, but you really... You, you can't hurt this thing until you... Stagger it. Whoa. Can alter her own form. Ooh. Physical, magical, resistance, low and staggered. Yeah. Damn it, that's not what I meant. When it's staggered, it just stands there, doesn't attack. And it's like, it bursts open and you kill its guts, it's kind of weird. Yeah. So there we are. And wherever you go, there you are. Yeah, I'm not really stopping to examine the scenery. A, it's like a junkyard, so it's kind of not really that pleasant looking. B, we just broke our shins again. 
this. We have to go back. Shut up, kid. And see, um, yeah, there's no like treasures I right don't here. I see any way over that. Although I guess we have to go this way for right now. And now there should be treasure showing up sometime soon-ish. We got more plot stuff first. Oh, I guess the game just ended. We're trapped in the junkyard. Maybe Zaz and Vanille can help us. Zaz will send in his fleet of mutalisks. We've got to serve the Overmind. Can we get through this way, you think? You know where you're going, right? I've been here on missions before. Lie. Missions? Nothing to do with the Purge, though. Look, kid, don't the ask... The Purge is Psycom's baby. Don't ask questions you don't want the answers to, kid. Our military is split into two arms. Exposition arm Public and... Public Security and Intelligence Command, known as Psycom. And the Guardian Corps. We're good guys. I was Guardian Corps, Bodum Security Regiment. Me and that Wait, I'm a dar guy. We're pretty it. much all that they have. If you're not Psycom, then why did you board the train? Take For the Sarah. train. How does he know she was on the train? Day thirteen, bottom station. <laughs> I'm Join gonna give you a mention exchange. Line. Take the train. Attention, purge deportees. Follow instructions and stay in your lines. Personal belongings will be returned upon arrival. I don't understand why she wouldn't be forced onto the train if she was a local, and they're killing all the locals. What's the GC doing here? This uh -huh. under direction. So direct me. Let me on. I want to be purged. I want to be the uh, bear of this. But no one ever was. Only civs get purged. Sanctum staff and soldiers are exempt. Huh? Then I quit. Uh, line up! Alright, fine. You want to die? It's not my dick. You know, whatever. Whatever makes you happy. Whatever floats your boat, lady. His ass is like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Excuse me. Hey. Hey, hey lady! How yes. you know you? I volunteered. Really? <laughs> you don't look ready to go quiet into that good night. You want quiet? You better take the next train. Take the train. <laughs> well, now I really want to see what you're up to. There's no other black people anywhere in this world. I might as well follow you around. I had to rescue Sarah before they transported the vestige to Pulse, and out of my reach. My only chance to save her was to join the Purge. I'm gonna be their drummer. Purge needs a new drummer. They're a pretty awesome band, dude. Check us out. You're telling me you got on that train so you could save your sister? Jeez, wow. I mean, who would do that? <laughs> That's crazy. I could never do something like that. I don't have a sister, it's so... It's not a question of can or can't. Or could, never mind. There are some things I was gonna say something like bad. You just do. Do or do not, there is Easy no try. Like you to say. Shut the fuck up, kid. What's with you and Zaz? Can you guys go collectively one set of balls, maybe? Lightning! Uh... She could have done a bunch of spins in the air if she wanted to, kid. She, she can totally do this shit. Yes, leave him there. Let him die. He's just a kid. He's not his fault that he's a little kid. It's Square's fault that they're spending so much he time left. on this little kid. What the hell am I going to do? Medic my way through the game? One, two, three. You're out of me. <laughs> what are you up to? Hey. <laughs> Wait up! I guess that was supposed to be cute because he was suddenly looking up her skirt without intending to and 
Look at your Kalina! Uh, uh, can't keep up with this girl. Oh man, if only that chocobo that lives in my head would sell us shit. Sorry. <laughs> Says has gained access to the center destro- I thought we already saw this. Okay, he's got faith which increases target's magic. And bravery, strength. Actually, I've already learned these things, but... Are we going to learn about uh, saboteurs now? No. At times, you will encounter enemy groups engaged in battle with one another. With their attention occupied, it becomes easier for you to take initiate the combat with the preemptive strike. Coming in contact with a member of either side will initiate a battle against both. You mean I can't team up with the pulse work soldiers against uh, the Sanctum guys? However, the enemies may not even notice your presence at first, continue to fight one another instead. When this occurs, it is most effective to concentrate all of your attacks against the side you expect to have the most trouble defeating. This is like a Samurai Warriors 2 mechanic. Once you have defeated the first group of enemies with the help of their foes, you can turn and fight the already weakened second faction. Big shot your targets poorly, and you may be left waging a long and bitter battle against overwhelming odds. You... You... Oh, the other thing is that uh, all characters gain experience when anyone gains experience, so these guys now have Christogen points to distribute because lightning and um, other person did stuff. Hope. That's his name. Hope. That's his name. Still can't quite get Vigilance, though. What were we working on here? Not that, apparently. Oh, that's right. I thought I had Deep Protect, but I didn't. So that worked out okay. Be really nice if he could be a commando. I'm pretty sure. He, well, I mean, everybody gets all the roles eventually, but. Listen, kid. I know you're not that bright, but I also know that. Despite your jokes, you do understand the concept of fatigue. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have new stores we can get to now that we haven't really checked out. Including Up in Arms. If history has taught us anything, it's that everyone dies eventually. But at Up in Arms, we help you to ensure your enemies do so as soon as possible. From classic pieces to cutting edge upgrades, we've got it all. Edged weapons and up in firearms guns selections. Fully sanctum approved. And I can't afford any of it. The only one I don't have is uh, a boomer. Yeah, the only thing I don't have is a weapon for uh, hope anyway, so. I could be selling, uh... You can sell Fortisol and Deceptisol, although you can't really... Or they're very expensive to buy, so you generally don't want to do that. Uh... This is like the weird stuff I've been finding in, uh... BW Outfitters has new new stuff. Oh, black belt. Increased physical resistance by 10%. And Yeah, okay. It's nice to know they're there, I guess. Unicorn Mart's still selling the same old stuff. So I guess they're going to do something which will not allow them to, to catch up with... Well, I shouldn't give that away. They're not going to catch up with Lightning and Hope anytime real soon. But they're probably going to do something in their travels which will open a path for those guys. Although they just climbed up a cliff. 
Rather lightning did. Pretty sweet! So yeah, clearly, um... Chris Nolan stole the plot of this game with Hope having to climb up a, a wall he didn't particularly feel like climbing for Batman Rises, or the Dark Knight Rises. I'm gonna say it's over with. I'm gonna say the killing the watch drones would be a bigger pain in the ass for me. Although we can certainly kill one of them and then kill the pulse work soldier. The problem with the Pulse Work Soldiers is if you don't have a commando to slow down the chain gauge, it's really hard to build its chain gauge. And we don't have a commando at all with these two. And Vanille refuses to time out her attack so that you can actually do anything useful. Matter of fact, honestly, it might be easier with her as a saboteur. Follow the old man's lead. The saboteur attacks do kind of act like commando attacks and slowing down the, the gauge. This is now that, yeah, this is actually now that I think about it. Not that the game explains this to you. This would actually be the best way to fight pulse soldiers if you don't have a commando. Oh, except that she stops attacking it once, uh... Once she's inflicted all the buffs on it, she doesn't attack it anymore. And that Watchdrome was apparently defeated, but... It won't let one of those groups defeat the other. So yeah, that, I guess, took longer than it was supposed to. My bad, maybe. I don't think I did anything wrong there. I just think that without a commando, those guys are a pain in the butt. The robots are fighting each other, it's so sad. The horrible anti-pulse racism of these robots. Oh, we missed a treasure chest, dudes. And dudettes. Never forgiven myself. Probably turns out that it contains like uh Oh never mind. I'm reading the map wrong. We've got one more bout of stuff before we get to that treasure chest. Never seen a rig like this before. Pretty cool though. Here we go. It's kind of phallic. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's wacky how oh, he panics at everything. He knew that would happen. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's Iron Mike Sharp. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, seriously, bitch. What is your deal? You tell me I'm going too slow. Now I'm going too fast. The fuck you want from me? Alright, this time we're just going to kill the Pulse Force Soldier first. You're clearly encouraged to by the fact that it's your default target. And the fact that it's almost staggered when you get a preemptive strike. Yeah, they really want you to kill it first. Cry, huh? Oh, oh shout, she's down. Okay, that's not helping. This isn't helping at all. I think I just blew it here. Well, this is irritating. Damn it! I fuck. Lux, finally run out. Where's the luck? What the fuck? Okay, so maybe I shouldn't have killed the pulse work soldier first. Eh. I feel like we definitely should have staggered it.
I kill it. Yeah, before it gets unstaggered, we have to kill it. Always best to leave only one target. You are my hero, Zaz, even if I treat you like crap. The problem is it's just, yeah, his meter starts, his stagger meter just deplenishes so quickly when you don't have any commando. But now he's like so close to death it's not worth staggering, I'm gonna just finish him off. So you'll see us barely ever staggering things with these two Ravagers, but... Uh-huh, I'm almost dead! Uh-huh! Oh, I just staggered him after I said that, so... Woo! Oh. These battles here, once you get leveled up a bit, they're actually a pretty useful place to, to grind for some stuff. Sure does. If I found out you were from Polis, I would have to fucking shoot you in the face, bitch! Well, in fairness to them, uh, the Pulsework soldiers keep attacking us on sight. So in this game, the enemies do fight each other, but what you find out is that your characters have apparently really high life and high defense compared to the enemies who have low... I don't know. It's just, the enemies can't hurt each other very much. I don't remember if that's because their defense is way lower than... or way lower than yours, but their offense is way higher or what's going on with it. But yeah, the enemies don't really have that much uh, ability to kill each other. Although I think they do affect each other. A girl. So let's take this last one of these guys down to being almost dead. Then we'll switch to the Pulse Soldier. Damn it, Zaz, you were too slow. Did you see that coming? You see that shit? That was pretty... Oh, well, apparently they they did manage to finish each other off, so whatever. Yeah, passive detectors, I think, are a, are a useful item. Those, like, weird randomly named items that are used in weaponsmithing, some of them are much better than others, and passive detectors are pretty solid at this point in the game. Anyway, I continue to be precocious and adorable, Zaz. How about you? Uh, yeah, I'm great. Thanks for asking. Ah, and I believe this is a coming up a plot thing that will affect our friends. Although, I might be wrong. This should do it. But, but it, I have no idea what that means. piece of cake so if lightning and uh, hope had just waited around for a minute we'd all be reunited but this was where they got trapped but they couldn't be bothered and now we're all going to die separately
since I've gotten all the skills, I'm no longer worried about what roles I was doing in what order. I've, I've got to get them all eventually. Yes, Brennan's out of the question. Cocoon treats everything from Pulse's evil, doesn't it? You're damn right, you ass motherfuckers. They deserve whatever death we can give them. Most painful one possible. If I got anything to say about it. Oh. Yeah, too late to actually take advantage of Frampton's strike on that guy, but... I guess I could do the Synergist thing for fun. Use uh, faith Vanille. on Vanille. Vanille? Uh huh, that's who I am, uh huh. I just boosted her physical attack, that seems pointless. And we both got faith applied, so let's go back to. Uh... So that's pretty cool. You see that those little symbols floating around by their stanimators? That means that that thing has been deprotected and de faith. No, that's not what I meant. I meant to do this. No, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do uh, this. So we can get a chain gauge going on this guy. We'll probably die before that even happens, but... Yeah, that's right, because she's not going to attack it, even though I really need her to. Because it's got everything applied to it, so never mind, this isn't going to work. Bullseye! Yeah, just die, buddy. You don't even bother Wisdom running over here. And that's why you a dumb bitch, Vanille. <laughs> it's Bob Sparky Plug. Bob Spark Plug Holly. Or whatever the hell he's called. Yay. So... I smell hope. Hope tracks, two, three days old. Hmm. These hope turns are fresh. <laughs> oh no, we actually did catch up with them. We huh. made it. Uh, where's Grumpy? Hmm. Oh, he's with Sleepy and Doc. Got left behind, huh? She sure is a bitch. What the fuck, kid? We're like not leaving you to die. It's pointless. Can't keep up. Can't get home. It's over for me. Yeah, pretty much. It's not over. Come back we'll with me home. to Space Australia. I don't have one. Now that mom is. Home is made of heart. Not with his mom. So. JJ's just mumbling to himself now. Never mind. Oh great, dad flashback. Thanks, Vanille. My dad was an underwater soccer player, but he's also a jerk. I hope you don't die horribly in the near future. Fireworks? Really? That's for little kids. <laughs> oh, I hate you. To you? What'd you wish for? Babies having babies. Next year, your father could come with us. My father's mean. I don't like him. Uh, don't Why? touch me. It's better like this. We don't need him. That night. They found the foul sea in the boat of Vestige. It was my dad! The next day, soldiers sealed off the town, and we couldn't get back to Palampolum. Which is a stupid name for town anyway. If 
forced us onto the train with everyone else. Look, kid, we couldn't see your flashback, so... She was frantic. Oh. She wanted to get us home. So she tried to fight. I had no idea that she you had a family. That's he so used sad. Her. Let's get you home, okay? Your dad's gotta be worried. Let him worry. Why should I care? He doesn't. Any father cares. Sass? It's nothing. Forget it. I'm the father of my own brood. My brood Come lord. Come with me, okay? Mm -hmm. We're gonna get you back with lightning so that she has a party member to heal her in battle. Ah, ah. Oh, oh, fuck. What the hell, man? We've got time. We got place. We got get time to slap home. your face. Your dad will be happy to see you. Then you can both be purged. So does Hope join us now, or. Or do we switch to lightning for a minute? Yeah, I got hope. Huzzah. Everybody can be... We still don't have a goddamn uh, commando. Variety level. Yes, probably enough. I don't think we keep this combination for any length of time, so... You know, he's got points to spend. I guess I should be ending the video. I haven't decided if I'm doing another, another one of this session, though. I gotta think about this, folks. It's like Zaz scratching his head. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna call a video here. Um, well, wait, if I don't get to a damn save point, I have no choice. I've gotta do another. Uh, gotta do. I've gotta either get to a save point or do another video. Well, if Lightning hopped up here. I don't see why I can't. I'm just as live and agile as that 21 year old super soldier supermodel. <laughs> Damn, I can't open this until I get rid of this guy. Boom, 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 boom. Can we just talk this over? Maybe we can actually deplete this guy or get him. Come on, guys, use your freaking magic attack. You can't just be me all the time. It makes a massive freaking difference if you got a preemptive strike on these guys. Battles go way, way faster that way. So I'm throwing out like, I'm not building a full charge of three. I'm trying to make sure that he gets attacked right at the end before his, his meter refills. Yeah. So I'm actually using, I'm trying to use strategy rather than just hammer through the game like before, but no, it's, I don't really think it's making any appreciable difference. I got an Inerta! Which I believe was the weapon that I was thinking about buying. Um, so that would certainly have been a waste had I done that. It reduces his strength, which doesn't matter since he's all magic, and gives him physical wall 5. Negates the first 5 points of damage from physical attacks. Yeah, it's probably better. Because he, he doesn't really use physical attacks at all, so... And now we can save.
and I can also quick check if um, the Ninurta was in fact the thing that I, I thought about buying, and it was, so don't buy Wapits. It's a waste of money. Alright folks, so I'm going to call it a video here. Uh, we will come back next time with more exciting Vile Peak action. Um, I have to think about whether I want to uh, grind. I would be grinding not for levels so much as for item drops because fairly soon they're going to introduce the mechanic by which you can improve your weapons or wapits. I haven't really decided yet whether I'm going to bother to grind at this point. It's pretty much the earliest point in the game where there's any benefit at all in doing it. Um, but, you know, I'm like, why would I bother to do that? The game's, like, been pretty easy as it is, and I'm not going to try to fight super bosses, and it's too, I don't know, it just makes it a little bit smoother. Uh, we'll see, folks, we'll see. Chapter 4, Hope and Despair, also known as Hope and Lightning. Um, but we'll do more exciting stuff, including probably reading the data log, since I didn't bother to do that this time. In the next video, I'm the Mysterious JG, and I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.